CataractCoach.com, G-A-T-T, for annual recession with coma. After severe trauma, this patient needs your help. Now, what is G-A-T-T? Gonioscopy-assisted, transluminal trabeculotomy. So let's watch the case here. That patient has sustained some severe trauma recently. You see, this is a classic traumatic cataract. Our surgeon's going in here, getting a good caps rex started. Oh, I like the adjustment of the camera lights to the red reflex emphasis with the um, coaxial lighting. There to go. Beautiful rexes. Very nicely done. Now, the cataract here is going to be the easy part. Now, what we got here? An extra incision going in. And look at that. Now, blending the end of that proline suture and threading it inside the eye. And now, gonio mirror going on the eye, gonio prism. And now, grabbing that suture, that proline suture, but first making an entrance here to get into that trabecular meshwork. A little entrance here made with a needle, cutting it open right there. That's a beautiful technique here. I like the way that paradise was made at an angle, kind of tangential, so that when the suture is placed in the eye, it goes in so easily. Look at that threading. Wow, you made it look so easy. I think the secret of the whole surgery was that in that paracentesis. That paracentesis was magical. That was beautiful. It just angled the suture correctly, and advancing it here becomes so easy now. Now at the end, you got it all the way around and pull the two ends and. There you go. Trabeculotomy is done. Wow, that was so efficient. I got I got to tell you, making cataract coach videos, I learn so much. It's unbelievable. And I learned in this video that when you make that paracentesis to feed in the suture, just make it very tangential. Now, nucleus removal is a snap because it's a very soft lens. Just aspirating it out like that in just a second or two. Beautifully done. And now let's see a little more visqueous going in. Take the probe out of the eye. Hey, let me tell you about the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. If you want to be more successful in your career, in your life as an ophthalmologist, you got to listen to the Cataract Coach podcast. It is literally the secrets to success for your future. I know. You'll say, oh, I don't, I don't need to listen to it. Okay. I'll talk to me in 10 years. Now, go ahead and put in the caps retention ring. CTR going in. It's being placed manually. I like the two-handed technique there. Here you go, and Iowa going in, looks like a single piece of acrylic lens, going in the capsule bag, 7L rule, it's in the correct position, looks pretty good. And now, let's see what we got next. Hydrating up the incision a little bit. Bro, 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 remember the roof, the roof. I don't do the walls, the sides of the incisions, I don't hydrate, I do the roof. You've seen my videos, I proved to you, it's already a better technique, just, just please copy me. now. Sealing up the pairs here looks good. Wow, what a beautiful outcome here. This is such a fortunate patient to have a trauma like this and get a traumatic cataract and a poor visual outcome and all of a sudden he gets fixed like that. Whoa, what we got going on here? Remember, I'm watching the video for the first time with you. So is this a case of like a traumatic medriasis too? So now, and maybe it is. Tenno proline going in there and now, oh, Sir Claus suture. What a surprise to me. I didn't even know we we're going to do that here. And bring it outside the eye, going back inside the eye. Now, Sir Claus is a difficult suture. This surgeon is fantastic and it makes the surgery look so easy. But remember, for most of us, if you want to bring the pupil down or do pupil plasty, just try the four throw pupil plasty technique. And you could do two or three interrupted sutures, and it's a pretty good outcome. This surclage is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's an incredible technique here. It is just not easy. And so, the, oh, beautiful. Wow, beautiful. So the surgeon here makes it look easy. This is not a simple procedure. And look at the outcome at the end. Beautiful pupil. Don't make it too small. You want at least a three millimeter pupil so your retina colleagues can actually examine the posterior segment of the eye. So tie that up. Make it a little bit bigger than that. That's a beautiful outcome for a patient to sustain such bad trauma and then be able to get a beautiful cataract surgery, a glaucoma procedure, and a pupillary surclage pupoplasty. That's a beautiful outcome. What a fortunate patient. And you know, our guest surgeon, you did a beautiful job. That is really fantastic. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've got a great video, go to cataractcoach.com, the actual website. Leave YouTube for a second. You can submit your own video. I want to see it. I get 30, 50 videos a week. Wow, look at that post-op outcome. Beautiful result. Hey, also check out 
the top podcast in all of ophthalmology, Cataract Coach Podcast.